So this week we're going to be working on making a comic strip. And a comic strip is something you might see in newspapers. You might actually have seen books of comic strips like Calvin and Hobbes or maybe the Peanuts comic strip with Snoopy and Charlie Brown. All ones that many people are familiar with. We're going to make our own and we're going to do a pretty simple one. Comic strips are normally broken up into blocks like you can see here with my dancing egg. So the first thing you want to do is make your three blocks because we're just going to do one with three blocks. Start pretty simple this week. Trace something to make your blocks. A good shape might be a box of crayons that you can trace, a box of cards. Um, if you have a play kitchen, maybe you have a little piece of bread or something that you can trace. Something about the size of a box of crayons. You don't want to go too big. You don't want to go too small. You want to give yourself some room to work. You can see the blocks I have are a little bit bigger than a box of crayons. So you want to start with the blocks first. And I'm just going to quickly draw mine out. I have a little bit of practice drawing big squares. For you guys, it's a little more difficult, which is why I said to trace something. So there's my three squares. Then I need to decide what I'm going to make my comic strip about. I would recommend choosing something pretty simple. I did a dancing Easter egg. Maybe you wanna do a basketball that's jumping into a net or a flower walking across each square, a car moving, a butterfly flying. Think of something pretty simple you will see that I did include some pages for you to learn how to make your a superhero if you want to do something like a superhero flying. So think of something fairly simple. Doesn't have to be too detailed. You can see mine. Not a lot of details. Enough to get the idea of what it is, but not a whole, whole lot of details, especially tiny ones. Then you need to start drawing. So I think I'm just going to do a butterfly flying. Now the trick is... You want each frame, well, these are called frames, each block is called a frame. You want each block or each frame to be pretty much the same. So that we can tell this is all one scene. Just like when you watch an animated movie and things happen in one room, you want this all to be that one room, that one scene. Mine's outside so I'm just drawing some grass. Then for a butterfly, I might start with my butterfly over he down here. And the antenna there. Now I want it to look like the butterfly has moved in this next frame, in this next block. So all that I'm going to do is just move the butterfly up a little bit. And what happens is even though we haven't drawn the butterfly moving up, we don't have video of the butterfly moving up, your brain puts together that the butterfly has moved up there all on its own. Okay, so your brain is putting together those little, into, those little spaces in between each picture. And now for the third one, the butterfly is moving right off the top of the paper, right off the top of that block right there, the top of that frame. Now, a lot of times comic strips will have words in them. You can see I opted not to put any words in mine. If you want to try and put some words in, you can add a little speech bubble and draw some words in there or write some words in there. You don't have to though. Sometimes you can get your idea across just by drawing a couple little lines, like I drew the music notes. So we get the idea that the Easter egg is dancing. For here with the butterfly flying, all I'm gonna do is add some little action lines around the butterfly's wings. And it makes it look like those wings are fluttering and the butterfly is flying. Okay? After you have everything drawn in pencil, you have your comic drawn in pencil, you have each the something in all three frames. The next step 
is to take a Sharpie or a black pen, something with a thin point. Because comic strips usually are outlined in black, so that's what we want to do. So make sure it's something that's thin with a black, that's black, a pen, a Sharpie, a really sharp colored pencil will work. One of something like that. And all I'm going to do first is outline my frames. and then outline everything in the frames. including those little action lines around my butterfly. And you can see my butterfly doesn't look exactly the same in each frame, but it does look very close. So don't get too upset if your item, your object doesn't look identical Whoops, in each frame. As long as it looks really, really close, you'll be fine. Because it's very hard to draw something identical over and over and over. Once you have everything outlined in Sharpie or pen, a colored pencil, if you want to erase any pencil lines, you can. But then it's time to color, to add a bunch of color to each frame. And the important thing to do with that is whatever color you color each item in the first frame, make sure that you color the same item the same color in every frame. Because again, we want all of these frames to look like they're at the same spot at the same time. They're all happening at the same time. If they change color, it looks like they're not quite happening all at the same time. To color, you can use anything you have, crayons, colored pencils, markers, anything you have handy. You can also mix things, mix materials. I used crayon to color my eggs, but then in the grass, I colored them with crayon first and then went over with a little bit of green marker to make it look even more like grass. If you wanted, you could even take watercolor and color the sky behind the egg or behind your item if you want. It's really up to you, just as long as you're making sure each thing is the same color in both all three frames. If you decided that you at, wanted to add some words to your comic strip, I would definitely trace over the words with that black Sharpie or black pen, black colored pencil, whatever you're using, to make sure that they don't get lost with everything that's being colored. Speech bubbles are always white in the back behind the words too, so that they're easier to read. So make sure that you don't color those speech bubbles in because we want people to be able to read your comic strip. So then just keep on coloring your comic strip and you'll be set. I hope you enjoyed making your own comic strip this week. Again, it's only three pictures, so you want to make sure it's something, though, that you can draw all three times and make it look pretty much the same all three times. If it doesn't look identical, no one but you is going to notice, but you want it to look pretty much the same each time. Have fun with it. If you want to add some words, go for it. And remember, I do have those two sheets on here for you to learn how to draw a superhero if you want to make yourself a superhero in your comic strip or just make yourself a superhero for the fun of it. 
have fun. And if you could send me a picture of your comic strip, I would love to see them. I would love to see what you come up with. Have a great week.